the 24th um, of December today, 2014, Christmas Eve. And look, it's a lovely day today. It's nice, it's not, not too cold. It rained last night. I don't know whether you can see up in the sky. A couple of planes up there. Wouldn't mind being on them soon myself. But we'll have to see how things go, see whether I can have a holiday. I like to have a holiday in the latter part of winter because most of my work's in the summer, so it'd be nice to have a little break. But I'm not working now till New, till new Year, so I'm having a break now at home. See if I can get on with some of these bits and pieces, what I've got to do. Um, I'll be able with an update soon. Just an update on my shed. I'm getting there a little bit. It looks a mess, but it is better than it is. I sort of categorise things to a degree. I'll um, finish it off hopefully over the holiday. Hi, here we are again. This is my mower, the one we use. Need to service after the grass season has just finished. All these new wheel bearings in the back. And I've just bought a new blade for it so I can get a little serve stuff and put away for the winter. That one there is a donor one for the other one I mentioned before in a previous video. The deck is no good on that, but the drive is good and so is the engine. So I should be stripping that one down to fit the parts to the other mower. So I'll be along with another update soon. Here's another mower I bought a few months back. I bought it with a running problem, but I cleaned the carburetor out and it runs good now so it's quite a nice mower quite a good condition I got it cheap and I'm not sure whether to keep this one or not but I should probably get rid of this one in the spring because I quite like my Hondas so I don't really, don't really need it. this is just a mulching one there's no bag with this and it's front wheel drive but it is uh, Steger Pro there you are that's a uh, model of it. I've used it, it cuts okay, but I like the rear wheel drive better than the front wheel drive. I also like the Honda engines. Well, I think this one's a Briggs & Stratton engine, so this one is going to go into storage for the next few months, and then I'll decide what to do with it. I just thought I'd show you it. It's in nice condition, I don't think it's been used too much. So, there you go. Be up with another update soon. I just want to show you this. This is a hitch cutter attachment for a Mantis engine. Well, I had a spare Mantis engine, so I fitted that on there. I've got to fix a, a recoil rope. I'm going to do that in a minute. I'm just going to clean the carb out, but that can stay on there because I've got I think four engines in all for these. So I just want to show you that. See if that will start up once I clean the carb out and do the recall. I don't think the attachment has ever been used really. It looks pretty new. Just something quick I'll tell you. When you're doing the Mantis um, recall rope, putting it in, be careful when you pull that piece off. Well, that way around. That piece off because you don't want the spring to ping out. It stayed in okay with me. But just be careful and then you've got to just loc where are we? Got to locate that bit back in the spring. And put it back in. But I've tied the rope on now, I'll get that back together. Just an update on the Mantis um hedge cutter. I'd managed to get it started after I cleaned the carb out, but it wasn't running right. And I did also break that gasket slightly, so I, I, it ran then it stopped and Sort of didn't run properly. I think it was drawing air somewhere. So I've now ordered a new diaphragm kit. So when that comes, I'll get that fitted and hopefully it solves the problem. Also, I noticed that the tank filter wasn't in there either. It was just a pipe. So I'll also have to put one of them on. I just an update on the Rover. I put some petrol in it and it started and ran well. So I won't fit a new diaphragm kit in this one because it ran okay so it's just a matter of giving it a service now the throttle, putting the throttle cable on clean up and that one will be done I've got to sharpen the blade also on that my shed's getting a lot better now it's definitely clearer still haven't finished my felting so 
I still have a puddle, but I'm gonna, I managed to clear it out so I can get on with the Billy Goat and finish that now, so there that is. So I'm getting there, I've still got so that little lot there. I'm gonna get the rotavator up and running, test it out, and that'll be out of the way, so then I'll be almost clear there. It's also quite a cold day today, hasn't, the frost hasn't thawed all day, so. We're getting to about 3 o'clock in the afternoon now, it's the 28th I think of December today, so it's been pretty cold all day, so I think I'm going to go in now, be up with another update soon. It's 29th of December today, I've just given that a test run, I haven't started it for months, I only actually ever had it running when I bought it, it's been tucked away, but it did have a problem, one wheel, only one of the back wheels was driving, I knew this when I bought it. I looked into it and a pin was missing. I replaced the pin today and the drive is really responsive. So I've sorted out that that problem. So I can get the, the deck is look there. The deck is really poor so it's been knocked about a bit so I can um, change bits over onto my aluminium deck now. I'll have a nice mower then. As you can see we had a pretty harsh frost last night. It's still pretty cold in the wind now. The lovely bright day, see that sun up there, lovely bright day but it's pretty cold. It isn't really thawing through the days at the moment. The truck started okay, so that's good. It's been the first winter I've had it and it hasn't let me down, so that's good. So I'll move on and see what I can do today. That's one of the next ones I'm going to fix up. I got it from my storage, storage place and got the old Vision Stratton on it. But I'm, on this one I'm going to change the carb to the newer uh, Prime of Old carb. And I think this one's got points so I'll probably change it so it's uh, electronic ignition. So I don't need to bother with the points anymore. Never had this running, this is how I got it so I'll have a look at it hopefully later today. It's not in bad condition, these are, are 70s mowers. I should imagine about 72, 73, something like that. I may check the code later to see exactly what year it is. They're just a rough cut mower, just like that. Got a disc on the bottom with four swinging blades. But they're good for rough grass. That's what people say, I've never really used one myself, but a lot of people like them and there's still a few around. I still think they do make one very similar nowadays, so been a popular mower over the years. Hi, I've just gone to pick up that because someone wants it, so that's a non-runner but someone wants that, so I've just been to pick it up, but I was just going to show you across here and the road. It's all nice with them, they haven't gritted this at all. Pretty cold out here. Here you go. Nice and fresh today. It is a nice day. I haven't had trouble on the roads because I've got my four wheel drive so that's what I've been in at the moment or I've been having this cold weather. I'll show you over there. See how sunny and that it is. The pros come and the new diaphragm has come for the Mantis hitch cutter so I can get that fitted on that now. So I'll get on with it. So here we are, all the carbs all back together now for the Mantis. So. There we go, it's all clean, I blew it out, fit the new kit and everything. The kit's quite good because it comes with everything you need, new spring, new gauze, new needle valve, the whole lot. So I can get that back on and see if it solves the problem now. There we go, the mantis is up and running now. I'll give it a try out, it seems to be okay. <laughs> Done now. I had to adjust the fuel a little bit, and the slides I think do need a slight sharpen. So I'll do that, but no, it's done. It seems to run well. I've got slight fuel leak from there. I'll replace that pipe. See if I can solve that. But it's running well now, so the diaphragm did do the job. The job's still on the mantis now. I will sharpen the blades, and I didn't have a bit of fuel pipe. I've run out of the yellow 
one that I need so I'll have to get some of that and, but that'll be the final jobs on that come out okay I'm back on the eBay trail I've um, see what the time is the time is 10 53. Um, I haven't bought anything off eBay for quite a while. It's been a bit dead really, but I'm off to about 25 miles to go and pick up three mowers. One looks okay, the others I think are only suitable for braking. So I'll see what they're like when I get there. They were cheap, but there hasn't been anything sort of in a 50 mile radius from my house for uh, quite a while, sort of mowers and, and stuff like that. So going to pick these up today I'll show you them when I got them don't expect too much because I don't think they'll be too special but anyway I'll show you be along with an update soon I'm back from collecting these mowers that's the best one it's in nice condition that one it's got a carburetor leak so I'll look into that in the future and there are the other two they're basically just for parts they came, they came with boxes so they came with two boxes like that so i've got two he said the engines were good so i've got two engines handles and that mower so the price i paid i'll probably get the money back on that one mower alone and i'll have the spares there so it's a nice little trip out i've come back with these three so i'll just break them ones up now for spares to put all the bits together to build other ones. I've still got to break this one here up because that's got rusty deck. That's just for spares. There's another couple as well, but these are the three I got today. Hi, I've been buying stuff again. Here we go, it got delivered today, and I'll show you me unwrapping it. Just bear with the bear with me. The video will be a bit shaky probably, but I think I know what this is, but I'm sure I know. That's really undo. I haven't done it yet, but here we go. Some lots of paper I've put in there. might have seen that, they might have given it away. Here we go. I'll just cut the bubble wrap off and then show There you go. It's another hedge cutter attachment for a Mantis. For my last spare engine. There we go. It looks in near new condition. All unboxed now. And it is in nice condition. It's better than I thought it would be. It's a 24 inch blade. And that would be ideal for my last engine. I like the twin blade ones better. So I might well get rid of the single blade one. I show earlier in this video and keep this one. I'm pleased with that. I'll find where I've tucked the other engine away and then I'll show you that running when I put that together. Just thought I'd show you what I got for Christmas. I got that. I got my Christmas cake off my other half. And I got that. I like my FIFA games. There you go, so I'm all set for this New Year's Eve now. Bit of cake and a whiskey, playing on my game. I know this has been quite a long vlog, I hope you enjoyed it. And all I've left to say now is, Happy New Year. I hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching my videos.